Hello everybody on YouTube, um, I'm going to show you how to game save so you can unlock all of your achievements for any game on the Xbox 360. This is how people like the top ranking achievement people on MyGamerCard.net or whatever site that you uh, have seen it on, how, they, how they've got their gamer score so high. Because there's no way in hell they have ever spent all of their time uh, getting all those achievements for like every game. Okay, here's what here's what we're gonna do. Okay, first take your 360 hard drive and hook it up to your computer. If you don't know how to do this, there's um tutorials on YouTube that teach you how to do it. Uh, the simplest way. Uh, to do it if you don't feel like taking your shell off of your hard drive is to uh, buy either an X SATA kit or a uh, It's like this memory card transfer thing that they got I forgot what it's called export or something like that Well, anyways, okay once you've got your hard drive hooked up to your computer in whatever way you did uh, You're gonna need this program right here it's called uh, explore 360 and uh what you're gonna to want to do is uh, right click it. If you're if you're running Vista, right click it and run as admin, or else it won't detect your uh, hard drive. And uh, go to Drive, hard drive or memory card, and give it a second. It'll load your hard drive. Okay, my hard drive screwed up. I don't know why it only has two partitions, but uh, it only you only need partition three. Okay, so uh, click on partition three. And then you'll find a bunch of folders or whatever. Click on content. Okay, you're gonna see like a bunch of uh, like like weird folder names and whatever. Okay, on this part, uh, you need to know basically around the date of when you made your Xbox Live profile. So, cause like all the dates, like are on the side right here. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, like, if you can remember the date, or around the date, one of the, the, the folder that's, like, closest to that date is usually your profile. But for me, I know mine. So, you're going to want to, uh, extract the folder to the, uh, desktop, and it's going to dump all the, all your stuff. One second. Okay. Now, uh, just minimize this and open up uh, Xbox 360 Profile Tool and uh, right-click and run as admin on that also. Okay. Uh, on here, this is what unlocks all the achievements for your games. Okay. Click on the big X up here at the top. Click on open, go to your desktop, and find the folder for your profile. Click on, uh, scroll all the way down and click on one that says FFFE07D1. Click on that file. Click on that, and click on this. It's like a, it just says, you know, yeah, that. Okay, you'll open that, and you'll get all your games. I mean, zoom on, zoom in on this, hold on. Okay, you'll get all your games that you've played. Uh, for me, it's like a crap load. I borrowed some from my friends, you know, whatever. Okay, now click on Unlock All. It'll say Done. Then go to Save Package and just click on it once or whatever. And exit out of, uh, just exit it out of all, all that. Okay, now click on uh, Xbox 360 hash block calculator, or, yeah, that's, that's what it's called. Okay, and also, just remember, run everything in this video tutorial, run it as an admin, if you're running Vista. If you're running Windows XP, well, I don't know, but uh, I don't think you have to run it as admin. So, click on run as admin, allow. Okay, go to file, open, and load the same thing that you did on the profile tool. That's gonna load a bunch of numbers and whatever. So click on tools, calculate hash blocks. 
Just give it a second and it'll say done down here at the bottom. Okay, and exit out of that. Exit out of that. Go to Explorer 360. And uh, go back to that folder that you had on here that you extracted, like, you know, extracted to the desktop. It'll still be on your hard drive. Don't worry, it didn't get moved. Now click on uh, the folder and click on FFF07D1. Right, yeah, okay. Click on that, and there's your file that you modded. Well, not yet. This is your old file. Okay. Now right click and click on insert file. Click on your modded file that's on your desktop. It, it's already in your folder. You know, click open. And uh, set, it'll say this folder already contains, and that's the name of your file. Do you wish to overwrite it? Click on yes. And it'll inject the file back, and congratulations. That's your uh, unlock. It's already unlocked all your gamer score. Okay, just exit out. Unplug your hard drive from your computer. Uh, hook it up to your 360. And sign into your profile, but don't sign into live yet. And wait uh, about five minutes, five, ten minutes, whatever. Then sign into live and give it about five minutes after you sign into live, and it'll, it'll update your gamer score. Now, note this program is kind of buggy, but it it unlocks like all the achievements for most of your of your games. Uh, like, I don't know how to say it, but like some games it won't recognize and it won't give you like all the achievements for. But some games it will. Okay. Like your your gamer score though will increase by like a lot. Like like twenty thousand, thirty thousand easily. If you if you play a lot of games. But remember, the games that are the games have to be in your history in order for this to work. Or else it won't work. So uh Yeah, and for every game you play, you know, just uh put it as long as it's on your history, you can do the same thing over and over again. And uh, if your gamer score gets reset for whatever reason, I think you can do this again. I'm not sure. I'd research that if I were you. But um, it won't. It will not console ban you. It won't ban your account or whatever. It'll just reset your gamer score. So if you're like me and you don't really give a shit about gamer score, then by all means go for it. But uh, yeah, that's about it really. So uh, I'll see y'all next time. All right.